Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make college and lifestyle content. First of all, I want to say there's some crazy construction going right outside my window. I'm going to do my best to talk loud, but if you hear some background noise, I apologize about that. Moving on from there, in today's video, I am going to be answering every question you could possibly wonder about Boston University. I know that College Commitment Day is right around the corner in May, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to talk about my college experience here at Boston University. For a little bit of background information, I am going to be graduating next January, so I'm a junior at BU and I'm studying Media Science, which is in the College of Communication. However, I have tons of friends in other colleges and my experience has been very well-rounded, so I feel like I can still answer a lot of questions. I scoured Reddit and Google and college forums about the most popular questions about the school and I'm just going to be answering them in no particular order. So let's get right into the video. Before I answer the first question, I just want to say if you're a senior watching this, trying to figure out where you want to go to college, congratulations for making it this far. The process is very stressful. I myself had a very complicated college commitment process. So I totally understand how difficult it is and I hope this does help you. And if you do have any other questions, this is my handle for all my socials. Honestly, feel free to just like slide into my DMs with any questions you might have. I'm so happy to answer them. Again, these are in no particular order. I literally just compiled a giant list on my phone. So let's go. Question number one, is there a common core at Boston University? We have something called the hub. Basically the hub is a bunch of different characteristics of classes that you have to fulfill throughout your time at BU. So for example, some of the categories are quantitative reasoning, aesthetic exploration, there's one about um, ethics, there's one about global stuff, there's writing intensive classes, so there's all these characteristics. A lot of classes fulfill more than one and also a lot of classes you have to take for your major also fulfill them. The nice thing is that everyone doesn't have to take the same classes so it's not like you're all reading the same books or like all taking the same math classes. You can really do whatever you want and also a lot of the classes are kind of cool and flexible. So for example, for quantitative reasoning, if if you're not a math person, there's a lot of cool classes that are art classes that have some sort of number in them or something like that so you can sort of get around doing a math class if that's not really up your alley. Question two, what do students complain about the most at BU? I would say that students probably complain the most about a couple of things. Um, tuition costs, of course Boston University is a very expensive school and I think that's another reason I'm making this video is college is a huge commitment of your time and money towards your higher education so it's super important to really like look at everything before you make that choice. Um, so of course tuition costs and prices in general are something students complain about. I mean it's totally understandable. College is very expensive. Um, something that students also complain about a lot is just in general the workload. The workload can be a lot, especially if you're double majoring or you're taking two you know, majors in different colleges, you have very different classes that don't overlap. It can be kind of stressful, but there are a lot of resources to help you through this and also you really get to design your own path. So you sort of decide in advance what your schedule is going to look like and what your workload is going to look like. Question three, are grades at BU really deflated? So there is this, I don't even know if it's a rumor, but there's this idea that at BU all grades are deflated. I have not personally experienced this at all. I've never had a teacher say, in my class only X number of students can get A's or only X number of students can get you know, in the top 10% of grades. That has never happened to me. Um, I hear about this sometimes with other majors, people talking about it, but I've never actually heard of it really happening. Um, I think it's much more of a rumor. A lot of teachers are way more reasonable than people make them out to be, and it hasn't happened to me. I, I don't think it's a real thing. Question number four is BU a party school? I would not describe BU as a party school per se. Of course, people do go out on the weekends, like not in the pandemic, obviously. Um, it's not like kids are partying every night. It's not like you hear booming music in your dorms every night. I, it's not that type of environment. People like to have fun and they go out to Alston, which is a Boston neighborhood um, down Com Ave, but it's not. I wouldn't describe the school as a party school per se. Next is what is your typical class size? So I've had classes that range from six to seven students to 300 students. It really depends. 
the more broad and low level classes tend to have more students of course so my communications 101 class that every freshman in my college had to take of course was massive but a majority of my classes are in the 15 to 25 people range definitely closer to 10 to 15 people for sure I've never really felt like I was just a number other than in that one class where there was 300 people everything has been very personalized despite the school being very large even though we have a great number of students we also have a great number of majors and courses so everything sort of balances out it's not like there's oversaturation is Greek life a major part of BU? I would say definitely not. I know that at certain colleges, especially in the South, some big schools have huge amounts of Greek life. I don't think Greek life plays a role at BU. Not joining a sorority or fraternity will not hinder your ability to make friends. People in Greek life are very friendly in general at BU. It can be a little bit pricey to join if you're interested, but there are definitely some great frats and sororities on campus. A lot of them are for professional work or they do a lot of community service. So there is a lot of great groups, but you definitely do not need to join it to fit in at school. Next is, does Boston University have a campus? So there's this like idea I see online all the time that BU doesn't have a campus. I honestly disagree with that. Um, Comma Ave or Commonwealth Avenue is the street that runs down the main Charles River campus of the school. It runs right next to the Charles River. There's a string of buildings. I'd say it takes about maybe 20 to 25 minutes to walk from one end to the other, but you don't usually find yourself doing that constantly. I think that it does have a campus. There are very clear areas where there are BU buildings, BU grassy areas, the BU beach, which is a nice little area by the river. There definitely are parts of campus that are clearly school and then parts of the area and neighborhood that are clearly outside of campus. It definitely doesn't have a campus feel that a very small college that's in like a rural area would have but i do feel like it has a campus there's a lot of safety precautions in place like there's those big towers where you can call for help and that kind of helps you also know that you're in the campus area there's signs posted everywhere for buildings that are campus versus off campus the next question is how would you describe your experience with advising if you're unfamiliar advising is basically like your guidance counselors but in college they help you plan your classes you can ask them questions they can tell you about different resources on campus for me i'm in the college of communication which is one of the smaller schools at bu my advising experience has been phenomenal i've had such good experiences with the advisors they've been very helpful they know everything they could ever ask them i just found the process to be very easy I know in other colleges, depending on your major, it can be a little more difficult to get one-on-one -on -one time because of the size of the major, but I wouldn't say it's a hindrance at all to your education. The next question is, what type of person should not attend Boston University? In my opinion, BU has a place for everyone, but in general, the type of student that should not go to BU, I'd say there's a couple categories. Number one, BU is a pretty liberal university. If you're not going to be comfortable with that type of environment, you might not enjoy your classes as much, especially if you're just not open to a lot of social movements and activism. In addition, if you're not a hard worker or very motivated, you may find the course load at BU to be a little overwhelming, and you definitely do need to keep up with your work and spend a majority of time each day doing work or studying. So if you're not willing to do that, BU might not be the place for you. I would also advise that if you're someone that needs an excessive amount of structure, BU might not be the best choice for you or it just might be a little bit more difficult getting adjusted to. BU is in the middle of a city, it can be chaotic. You kind of have to find your own way. It's a big school. That's not to say there aren't resources to help you. There definitely are. If you want a very small, quiet college life, that might not be for you. Next up, are certain majors judged at BU? This is an interesting question. I would say that kind of but it's more of a joke if that makes sense so there are a couple of bu like meme pages on instagram or facebook and people make fun of the college of communication for not doing any work and they make fun of the business majors for being just frat bros but i think it's more all in good fun i don't think there's any serious like making fun of for your major um the school is an amazing school and deep down everyone knows all the majors are very difficult what I will say is I think people underestimate how difficult certain majors are, especially for example the College of Fine Arts, so music and art majors. I don't think people realize how much work it is to be in those majors and sometimes they sort of brush it off as if it's really not as difficult as like biology or chemistry at the school, but it definitely is. One of my best friends is in the College of Music and it is really, really tough. 
Next question is, if I don't drink, will people judge me slash will I have trouble making friends? No. Um, if your friends judge you for that, you have bad friends. I genuinely think at BU you'll find all different types of people. So of course there'll be people that expect you to drink, but don't hang out with them. The next question is, if I don't like writing, will I struggle at BU? It depends on your major for sure. So for example, obviously chemistry majors aren't going to be writing quite as much as English majors or history majors or journalism majors. However, every student at BU is required to take two writing courses, WR120 and WR150. They are both very intensive writing courses, the second of which is a research writing class. Overall though, I don't think it's the end of the world if you're not a big writer, especially if you're going into a STEM major. If you are planning to go into a liberal arts major though, you're gonna have to write a lot. It's just the reality of college though. Um, but there are a lot of helpful resources at the school, including writing centers. There's writing centers for international students who are still working on their English skills. There's a lot of really great resources. So you will improve as a writer. It's gonna be okay. If you made it into the school, you definitely can handle it. The next question is how hard are finals at Boston University? So BU is pretty well known for having very difficult finals. In fact, this one website lists us as the hardest college of finals. I personally haven't had this experience. I think a lot of my finals have more been things like, it's just another exam that happens to be at the end of the semester, not even cumulative. Um, some of my friends have had some pretty big finals. In the College of Communication, I tend to have way more big projects rather than final multiple choice or math exams, obviously. Um, I haven't thought it was too bad. There's actually a week that they designate for studying for finals. We don't have any classes. So you definitely are given a lot of time to prepare. The next question is, is it hard to get the classes that you want at BU? To be honest, yes, it is kind of hard. There's a lot of people at this school and there's a lot of competition for classes, especially ones that seem really cool or fun. Obviously, everyone wants to take the wine tasting class. Um, the way that it works is basically you're given a random number based on your BU ID, which is just your student number, and that determines what your time will be for picking classes. I think the times range usually from around 8 a.m. to 12.30 or 12. It's like a few hours um, each day, and then when it's your time, you can just log on, pick the classes you want. You can plan them in advance. If you have a bad class number, it can be very difficult to get the classes you want. For example, uh, two semesters ago, I had the worst time and I got zero of the classes that I wanted, but it ended up working out. Over the next few weeks, people dropped classes. I was able to pick them up and sign up for them. So even with the worst possible number, I still ended up getting the classes that I need to graduate. It's a little bit stressful, but it's totally doable and you will graduate. <laughs> What do students do on weekends? This definitely depends from student to student. There are lots of really fun things to do in the Boston area. BU is right next to a T line. It runs right through the middle of the campus. So it is so easy to just hop on the public transportation, take it into the city or out towards Cambridge or Somerville, the surrounding neighborhoods of Boston. There are tons of museums, there are activities. BU hosts free activities. The community service center has little trips you can go on. There's lots of things to do. If you don't wanna be sitting in your dorm alone, you definitely do not have to. The next question is how lenient are professors at BU? I'm not sure if this question means lenient in terms of due dates or grades. A lot of teachers are pretty strict on their due dates. However, I've only had a few circumstances where they're not understanding. If you have something come up, a death in the family, if you're struggling with your mental health, most of the time if you talk to a professor, they will understand. It's just about you taking the step to talk to them, keep them updated on your situation, and turn to them. It's their job to help you learn, but it's also your responsibility to reach out to them if you're struggling. I have had some really great experiences with professors and I've been able to get through everything. Next is what is a stereotype about students at your school and is it true? I think there are tons of stereotypes about BU students. The largest is probably that a lot of students are rich upper class students from the New England area. This stereotype is definitely true for some students. Of course, BU is a private university, so there are people that are paying full price to attend that are from upper class backgrounds, probably went to private schools for high school. Um, but it's all about who you communicate with and who you're friends with. To be honest though, I haven't really experienced this being like a hindrance to my friendships or anything. I haven't had trouble making friends because everybody is super yuppie or anything like that. Um, a lot of people have been very friendly. There's a lot of diverse people from different backgrounds as well. So I don't think that it's a super big deal. The next question is what are the dining halls and dining plans like at BU? 
rate our dining halls and dining plans a solid C. I honestly don't think they're bad enough to hinder your decision of deciding whether to go to school, but it's also not the most amazing food, so if that's really a big thing for you, then you probably won't like it. Um, I'm a really picky eater and I made do my freshman year. I now live off campus and so I get my own groceries. Um, there's a ton of different types of dining plans. There are some that allow unlimited meals. There's some that allow a certain number throughout the semester so you can sort of divide it up. There's some that are like 14 a week or things like that. There's definitely a lot of plans for everyone so you can usually find stuff that's good for you. But overall the food isn't amazing and the dining options aren't very diverse. The next question is what are the benefits of going to such a large school? This is an interesting question for me because I actually applied to all small liberal arts colleges except for BU and this is where I ended up going which I did not expect but I honestly love going to a big school for a number of reasons. Number one, it doesn't feel like summer camp. This is something that I hear about at other colleges where people like know everyone's business and like keep track of who you've dated and like it seems like a high school drama show or like a clicky summer camp and I'm just so happy BU is not like that. There are so many students, if you have some awkward interaction with someone, odds are you probably won't have to see them too many times again. It's not a big deal. I also like that BU has so many resources because it's such a large university. There are so many opportunities, it's almost overwhelming. Same with resources. It's, it's almost difficult to figure out where you want to go on campus because there are so many different things that can help you. Next question is how big are sports at BU? I would say sports are a pretty major part of the overall campus culture, especially ice hockey. It's really fun to go to the games, even though I'm not into sports at all, I still had so much fun at the hockey games. They make chants, you wear your BU colors, it's, it's just a really fun outing event. Overall though, sports are a pretty big part of the school, it is a D1 school for many sports. The student athletes that attend the school work very hard. It's very rigorous to be a student athlete here, so I have a lot of respect for them. Next up is, what is the area around campus like? So if you step off campus towards East Campus, which is where a lot of the colleges are, you'll find the Fenway and Kenmore area, which are both beautiful little areas in Boston. And then at the other end, you have the Alston area, which is leaving Boston. I think that the areas around BU all feel very safe. I live off campus in the Fenway area and I love it here. There's a lot of green space, there's parks and things like that. Um, if you step off campus, you won't feel immediately in danger or anything. There's a lot of areas where there's it's very populated and well lit. Next up we have, is it hard to make friends at BU? I know that going to a school with this many people can be daunting, especially because you're worried if you'll make friends. I honestly didn't have too much trouble and I'm not very extroverted myself. I ended up becoming really close friends with my roommate that I met on the housing portal for freshman year. We still live together here off campus and a lot of my other friends I made through social media before school and I ended up becoming really close with them. You also find that you see the same people a lot in your classes for your major because people are following the same track as you, so that's really cool. I see some familiar faces and I worked with some of the same people. There are so many clubs and you'll have your dorms and you'll have your classes to make friends. I wouldn't worry about it, it all comes naturally. My biggest advice is don't throw yourself, my biggest advice is don't throw yourself into a friend group before you even get to campus. It's one thing to reach out to someone to be like, hey, you sound cool, we should get coffee or something. It's another thing to like have a full click and group chat and all this stuff before you even get on campus. I would say it's really important to be selective with who you're friends with. People should make you happy and be good for your mental health and your emotional health, so be selective with who you want to be friends with. Next is what do people wear to class? I'd say BU is overall a pretty fashionable school, but that's not to say that if you wear jeans and a t-shirt or sweatpants people will look at you funny. These are all acceptable things. I see people wearing head to toe Gucci sometimes, I see people wearing sweatpants like they just rolled out of bed. It's not a huge thing. I've never seen anyone stare at someone for what they're wearing or anything. Um, it, but it's a pretty big range and you can definitely express yourself if fashion is something that you're interested in. Next is what jobs are offered on campus. We have some work study positions which would be given to you with your financial aid package. There's a lot of different types of positions. There's like desk jobs, there's lighting in the arenas, 
there's food service jobs, there's pretty much anything you could want. There's also non-financial aid jobs, so like if you didn't qualify for that, you can still get a job on campus. There is a job section on our student link where you can look through and see all of the available jobs. My freshman year, I worked as a social media coordinator at one of the colleges and I had a lot of fun and made some amazing connections that have gotten me where I'm going in my career today. The next question is, are the dorms at BU as bad as people say? This question made me laugh because honestly, no. There's this like thing, I guess, that I always see around that like BU has the worst dorms ever and it's like being in prison. I honestly don't think they're that bad. They are so convenient. They're just in the middle of campus. Warren Towers, which is where a lot of freshmen live, has a dining hall inside. You don't even have to go outside in the Boston winter to get your food. You can just stay in your dorm. It's super convenient. Um, and yes, they're small, but also you're in college and that's just sort of part of the experience is that you have to live with a communal bathroom and with a roommate. If you need accommodations, they usually are able to get you them. If you need a single, for example, you definitely do have to jump through some hoops to get there. But if that's something that's very important to you, if you have a disability or something, other circumstances, you should be able to get that if necessary. Moving forward, in terms of dorms, there's a lot of different types of dorms and there's a huge price range in terms of having a really nice single and an apartment style house versus just having a regular old college double in a tiny room. So depending on your budget, there are a lot of different options. There's also a lot of areas around campus and off campus that have housing. I personally have really enjoyed living off campus. I prefer being able to have my own apartment and I have a pet with me, which has just been really good for my mental health. But overall, the housing situation is not the worst thing in the world. It can be a little frustrating, but it's definitely, again, not a hindrance to choosing BU. I will just finish off the video by saying that there's no way I can express the overall culture and opportunities that BU has given me through just answering questions. I genuinely love it here. Of course, it has a lot of problems, but so does every other college and university. It's all about choosing what's right for you. And if you think BU is right for you and you wanna ask more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me a DM on socials. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post lots of college lifestyle, fashion, and DIY content. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one.